It's literally only been like two days, but it feels like it's been forever since I played this. It's like, what, March 30th now? I'm starting online schooling, which is totally great. And we just finally got back to this game. So, yeah, hello everyone, it's me, Jerry Gaming here, welcome! Let's see what this has in store for us, and hopefully we'll get by this a little faster than the other, since it just takes me like three hours to get by one of these arcs. Or a little longer. Okay, so it seems like Neptune's going around, you know, talking to people, like, expecting them to remember her, but apparently... Yeah, pretty much what she said, no one remembers her. And we also got a little note about Bisha, which I'm assuming is the yellow young girl or something like that. I'm home! Oh. Hey guys, I'm back! What? Who are you? Don't be silly, it's me, Neptune! N-E-P-T-U-N-E! -E. Neptune? I don't know that name. Oh, not again. You and Iffy tell the meanest jokes. Oh, I get it. You guys are planning a surprise party for me, so you're being mean on purpose. This is Lady Bisha's Holy Basilica. I will not allow you to make a mockery of it, even if you are but a child. I will not go easy on you. Just hang on a second, will ya? Who's Lady Bisha? This is my Basilica, isn't it? Not anymore, since Please, history's rewritten. Please, child. Leave this Basilica at once. Huh? Wait, what? Excuse me, but what's going on here? The level of noise is quite unacceptable. Oh, Lady Eastwar, this child is causing a ruckus trying to force her way inside the Basilica. Child? Why, Neptune, is that you? Isti? Isti, you haven't forgotten me? How could I possibly forget you? Oh, goodness. I never thought I would see you again. So why does history or Histy remember uh, Neptune, but literally no one else? Like, what's so special about her? Oh, Isty, me too. Iffy, the citizens, and everyone else don't know who I am. I was super lonely. Lady Eastwar, is this an acquaintance of yours? Yes, she is a very old friend of mine. Please, allow me to look after her. Understood. Come, Neptune. Let's not stand around here. We will retire to the back to speak at length. So what in the haze going on around here? To be honest, I am not completely sure. However, it is certain that the existence of CPUs has been erased from the collective memory of game industry's population. So, that's why everyone was acting like they just had met me. Wait, then how do you remember me, Isti? Exactly. This is only a theory, but it may be because I was created artificially to record Planetune's history. Oh yeah, just like Krosty, except Krosty's a son of a gun. because some unknown power somehow altered the entire history of game industry. That may be why the Gold Third is currently presiding over this world, and the CPUs are entirely non-existent. Ah, I see. There are several distinct changes. The first is the appearance of monsters. They are ferocious and have never actually been identified before. They're entirely new and their numbers are increasing rapidly. Yeah, Nebgyari confirmed it from the zero dimension. Of a strange phenomenon where some monsters suddenly become violent. In the past, there were cases of monsters being polluted via the deity of Sin's miasma. But this is a separate anomaly. Since they attack others indiscriminately, we are calling them delusionary monsters. They are currently under investigation. The second change here is that organizations are using their existence as an excuse to skirmish with other factions senselessly. It is not escalated to full-blown national war. But its scale is slowly increasing. I'm just realizing, is Neptune even listening? The most serious threat, however, is the group said to be manipulating all of this from the shadows. You're talking about Affimax, right? How do you know that name? That information is being meticulously controlled. Oh, I 
just saw it on an Enchan thread. Uh oh. Oh, wow, so she was listening. Also, uh, why is why is the, the other big nep on the Aki Max though? Leaked? Oh, don't be silly. It's N Chan we're talking about here. So what's Affy Max up to? When I asked on N Chan, people said they didn't want to talk about it. They told me to stop fading and go back to Nepit. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Affy Max. Reports have indicated that they steal business technology and information, sell it to others, and are the ones spreading the war. So it's kind of like those mastermind orgs in anime and games that start wars to make a profit by selling weapons and supplies. It is precisely that. Still, just because there are no CPUs, how did the world get so dangerous? Hey, that also means that all those people complaining about us being incompetent were totally wrong. Eat that! That may be so. Recalling those times now, I feel they were by far the most peaceful. By the way, where is the gold third member that's ruling over Planetune in my place? Well, I am not sure what caused this twist of fate, but she slacks off just as much as you do, and is out today as well. Why is it that those in charge of Planetune never like to work in the slightest? Oh, of course! If Bisha refuses to work, then I can simply have you take her place, Neptune. What? How'd you come to that conclusion? The world is in disorder because of these conflicts. This is the time you must fulfill your duties as a CPU. What? I will not hear any complaints. Planetune, no. The entirety of game industry is facing a crisis. Then can I go help out Iffy? Help? I.F.? But she does not remember. Yeah, I know. I met her earlier. Is it not... painful? Yeah, it is. But it can't be helped. Besides, she might remember me if I hang out with her enough, you know? Probably not. From your story, Isti, it sounds like Iffy's taking on Effie Max alone. And I don't think that's the safest thing for her to be doing. You are right. We have no idea what the outcome may be. So I will permit you to accompany her. Woohoo! However, you must not get in her way. Understood? No way. <laughs> Why does everyone think Neptune is such a hard name? Like, come on. <laughs> All right, time to follow if me. If me, or did I really just say if me? Met in reference because, um, you know, she literally just said, don't follow me or, you know, don't play games or something like that. It's like, all right, time to follow her now. Okay, so now she's going to be following Iffy. Pretty sure you guys can could have figured that out because, you know. Also, uh, how much credits do I have? Oh, I don't even have any credits. Uh, well. Can't we just hang out here? No. Stop, Neptune. And we're back at the Blossom Tree place. Let's go. Wonderful. I love how she just had the corner of the screen like that. Okay. So, oh, actually, this looks a weedy bit different. Alright, we're back to being Neptune. And, uh, place looks a weed bit different. Heat will beat you to a pulp. So now that I know that the red part of the circle, you know, does more damage, I will keep that in mind. And, you know do that and stuff and you know since I've already played we've already played Neptune before we should already know what to do okay this map is actually completely different I might be lost or I probably will get lost here and there so yeah just don't be surprised about that also what is this horse guy oh horse people never mind horse bird hello my dude is that even allowed Ooh, wait. Oh, 
Oh! It looks cool! An event. Oh, if he found us out. That's wonderful. Oh my gosh. Huh, of course. I mean, why would we not top? Why, <laughs> why would we not stalk her? Because, you know. Alright, we're a Neptune on the bench. So, uh, does anyone have any last words before I uh, end off the video with a uh, Neptune on the bench? Has she, uh, she's at least pretty small. Like, Neptune. Look. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. I wonder if there's anything cool in here. In the water? Uh, yeah, you can find a. Uh, 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 okay, never mind. Up. Of course, there's like four of them. Like, why wouldn't there be? <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days. Actually, no, flip it. Let's just see what happens when we go HDD form. I'll show you a CPU's power. I'm not in the mood to die here. Transformation complete. All right. How much damage can we do? Or we can miss, that's okay. Jeez, Elise. It wasn't supposed to go like this. Yeah, it wasn't. But... Step yet again. Wow. Jiggle physics. Like, am I even surprised at this point? I, like a kangaroo. I feel like what's one of the more difficult battles are the ones where there's this so one. many enemies. Like those. Like, if you have this one very strong enemy then that's fine but that's not the hardest thing apparently the real hardest no, thing weak. is the amount of enemies there are apparently that's what's Ouch. harder this is he throw this giant dragon at me that probably does like Ouch. a fifth of my health per turn that's fine i can handle that but when you have you know these enemies where they like or you know, they're not that strong, but the fact that there's a lot of them is just, you know, not cool, you know? It gets very frustrating. And then I have to actually start doing HDD form when I kind of want to save that for the boss battles or, you know, when I am forced to use it. But, you know, this is not one of those times where I would want to be forced to use it because there's so many. Now! Too early. That was a clumsy fight. Now we get 800 experience for it. Like I don't even think that's that much. Oh god. I don't know why, but seeing her, it's kind of frustrating because you know we we kind of destroyed her in the other dimension, and now now she's kind of back, and it's like, wow, good job, we defeated her uh, twice, three times actually, and uh, she's back because she can, not because you know she. <sighs> Neptune coming to the help. Horse Connor or War. I guess it's coming back to her, or is that even a thing? Alright, here we go. I'm gonna battle our boar. Not our four. Our boar. Uh 
Oh, so R4 does a memory of, you know, the net net, but like. Does she not know Iffy or something? Alright, we got Iffy! Let's go! Level 36, kind of what I need. Actually, maybe I can see if I can give her something to. Oh. Ooh! <laughs> Hold up! Hold up! She got doubles. Double hand swords, actually. Hold up. That's. Kinda sick! Okay! Um. Alright, here we go. You don't scare me! I have Leave no intention of running Let's away! Let's defeat her again, and this time I know we could do it because we have two people. Although she the might have a lot of health. The apocalypse is now. This is nothing. <laughs> now then, who wants to die? Ooh, that is a very weird uh, attack uh, hitbox. Three things to me. All right, well we can get her at least. At least we can confirm that we will get you know. You <laughs> wide open. <gasps> Ooh, and she can do Leave poison. Okay, girl. Okay. This is now. Not bad. This might actually go pretty well for us. The time of the apocalypse Ouch. is now. Ah. Ouch! Little bit. Wow, she's just stabby stabby, literally. Just stabby stabby. I'll you down. I don't know how to feel about that. Now then, who wants to die? Alright, let's try on, that you uh, again. What? Now she has poison on her. So that's wonderful. Leave this to me. To Leave things to me. Alright. I'm gonna do it again. Easy. Let's go. That was actually this. easy. See, with two teammates, it's a Victory. lot more easier. This is all thanks to my efforts. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Oh, dang it, Steam Max. Is that his name? Oh, well, guess he wanted King when he's a ninja because he's got those little like smoke bombs, and then they're instantly gone, like, like Batman. Or an actual ninja. <gasps> Iffy, no! Ooh, okay, that's smart. Wait, why does Kampo remember? Wait, what? So does everyone just have, is it not a rewritten history and everyone just has amnesia? Why does Kampa and his, okay, maybe I understand why his team remembers. Why does Kampa and not Iffy? Like, hello? Oh wait, so now even Iffy now apparently remembers Nep Nep or something. So they all got back to, but why? How did, so everyone just had amnesia apparently? What? So, something about this doesn't feel right. Doesn't make sense. Oh gosh, big beef boy robot guy. That's what I'm just gonna call it. A, a Fumio Joe's? Jay's? No, I'm just gonna call him beef boy robot. That's what I'm just gonna call him. Cause, or should I call him beef boy king? I don't know. I think I'm gonna call him beef boy king. General Beef Boy King. <laughs> General Beef Boy King. That's his new name. General Beef Boy King. Unless I hear someone actually pronounce his name, then you know. I mean, Steam Max, I can, you know, pronounce that. Because if you just kind of separate the letters a little bit, then you know. I had panicked when my online pre-order failed, but I knew you would manage. <laughs> It was a close call, I must admit. They had but three copies available. I certainly made the right choice in bringing this test to you immediately. Now time to pursue its costs. Hey, it's most unfair to you to look alone, General. I wish to look as well. Hey, <laughs> no need to rush. Oh, such an array of wonderful illustrations waking up before dawn to wait in line for this all Morden has certainly paid off. Truly, but oh my... <laughs> Must be bloody hair of the pride and joy of this world, aren't they? Indeed, this is one of the sole truths of this forsaken world. A bountiful chest suits of blondie haired beauty perfectly. <laughs> By 
By the way, General, I happen to meet Neptune, the former CPU of Planet Dawn. Is that so? I had heard she was missing, but I think she is still alive. So how was she? You didn't happen to meet her in an HDD form, did you? I didn't. She has such a beautiful body. It is quite a shame she is not a blondie. Curses, Master Nip. <laughs> Did you talk to her directly? No, no, I was much nervous. Good grief, you are ever the coward. It should be nothing to speak to girls. I can say nothing in return. That's right. Why not stay on our side once in a while, General? You've been cooped up in here almost a week now. I wish to do so, but there are, <laughs> there are too many newsworthy stories as of late. There's never an end to my summarization <laughs> tasks. Thanks to that, however, Ugh. access numbers have gone up and ad revenues <laughs> have been skyrocketing. Your blog at General Summary site has suddenly taken off in a short amount of time. After all, this is all thanks to your work in manipulating information and your speed in obtaining it before anyone else. It's unfair to me. Oh, oh, my voice is dying. I'm not going to do that ever again, probably. Oh my gosh, wait, can you see their desk for a sec? Look at those. Look at those. What? For a big, beefy boy general who looks like he's the... He's literally the closest thing to the end of the world. Why? What's with, the, what's with their fashion in busty blondes? Like, hello? Also... Question mark, question mark, question mark person is speaking. I'm assuming it's the person that's been showing up in all the other arcs, and I had no idea who she was. I think. Okay. I don't know what that all was all about, but I'm gonna real quick head to the restroom, so I'll be RB. It's been a while since the three of us have gone out together. Yeah, between the festival and dealing with Affy Max, we've been working 24-7. I heard they popped up in Last Station recently. Right. If I recall, what got stolen over there was some company's documents and research about some of their patents. Didn't Arbor steal a game console before that, too? What? Yep. For some reason, Affimax keeps stealing Planetunian game consoles. I don't really know what's up with that. But people are starting to they joke must be that really the game gaming consoles are the most valuable thing Planetune has to offer. Seriously, I have no idea what they're planning with that. Such a weird move. Ooh! A used game shop in a place like this? Chuko's super rare secondhand shop. Sounds like there might be some bargains. Let's take a peek. Oh, that shop. It opened pretty recently. They sell mostly a bunch of retro consoles and games. Be still my beating heart. I have a feeling that a retro treasure exists within these walls. Miss Sales Clerk Mouse, is something wrong? Oh, customers! Hello! Welcome to my shop! Actually, I'm sorry. I'm all closed up today. Closed? Did something happen? Yes, something awful. You see, all of my game merchandise was stolen. C could the culprit possibly be the secret organization? Highly probable. So, did you report this to the police? I just finished doing that. Okay, that's good. Then, could you let us in on all the details? My name's Aya. I work for the Basilicom. These other two are Nep and... I mean, Neptune and Kampa. Nice to meet you. I'm the manager of the store, Chuko. Chuko! <laughs> that's an adorable name. It's nice to meet you, too. I don't think I'm ever gonna get see. over Kampa's so high-pitched voice. To work, the store it's was a little too cute. State. And all of your used games and consoles had already been stolen from your shop. Are used consoles and games valuable enough to warrant stealing them? They aren't all that expensive, so I can't believe they're really worth it. <laughs> you guys don't understand the high values placed on retro games. 
It's these kind of titles that core fans keep forever because they're not made anymore. They can go for ten times their original price. Ten times? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Some games produced in small quantities might sell for over 100 times the original price. Is that true? Like, can that really happen in our world? Like, I think, if I remember, wasn't it like a few games on Amazon that are like so old, but for whatever reason, they're sold for like $100? <laughs> You don't get it. It's a pretty good look to have games like that in the shop, even if no one ever actually buys them. Although I'm not gonna lie, if I wanted the Sonic the Hedgehog Sega Genesis and it was like, you know, $100 for the game, just the game and not like, the, you know, the console with the library and stuff, which I actually have in the playroom. I don't think I've actually shown any of you guys that, but if I had to get it for that much, isn't that... Just by having them on display, not great or you know too expensive. Curiosity. I mean, and I would definitely not purchase a, a Sega Genesis with a um. So that means rare games and <sighs> library full of games for a thousand. Like that's even more than a freaking you know Amazing. Nintendo Switch, a PS4, and Xbox you know One, so and probably even more than an that Xbox Series reason, or the PS5 or whenever that Nintendo Switch Pro comes out. Proudly on display in several cases. As you can see, all the cases have been broken into, and they've all been stolen! <laughs> Imagine, literally, those big beefy robots, you know, like Steam Max, for example. Imagine, like, multiple of them, like, different colors. They just break into the windows, like... <laughs> this is the organization! Open up! They break through the windows, they steal everything. My Not everything, like, food, water, but just games. Downloads. And now, CDs with busty blondies, all that stuff. Imagine them breaking in to steal will that be stuff. No forgiveness for that thief. As a gamer, I can't forgive this crime. They most certainly deserve death. Neptune knows what's up. Nep's personal <laughs> desires aside, the Basilicon will conduct its own investigation. We'll contact you as soon as we find something. Thank you so much for your kindness. gotten so dangerous lately. I hope we can go back to how peaceful it used to be here. Honestly, Planetune's doing relatively okay. I just got word that Leanbox is being invaded by unknown forces. Doesn't get worse than that. I wonder if I could have actually gotten foreshadowing and ship from um, just playing this arc first. And then playing That's for the- I'm pretty sure I can't, because they already mentioned, you know, okay. uh, what is I it? She's working something out. Uh, you know, Noir being a one criminal, and that they're all- and that there were soldiers hunting her down. And then- <gasps> Nip gear! And then there was, uh, you know, now there's, you know, Vert's lean box, where they were being attacked by unknown forces. And, you know, we ended up, you know, happening with that one. And then, uh, what is it? Um, and then- Ram and Ram supposedly safely getting to uh, Louis recently, so. Uh, it's Nepgear! Oh my gosh! Kampa calls Nepgear GG. Like, what are these nicknames? I thought Gearzy was kind of weird, but I mean, GG's kind of a. Actually, wait. I don't know about GG, actually. Never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, see? The sentence right there. That's some foreshadowing. And that's also some foreshadowing. Mm-hmm. And... That's also some foreshadowing. So, everything... So, I, if I played this route first, I would have known everything. Like, almost everything. Uh, actually, yeah. If I played this first, I would have known half of everything in the next few arcs. Except for, you know, which shot uh, takes over the other. But, other than that, this is a lot of foreshadowing coming from this arc. So, if I, so, you know, the fact that I played the rest of those other arcs before this arc, this is all just like, whoa, now we're getting this information? <laughs> My small sibling is to be feared. Well, actually, then again, Nepgear is one of the smartest ones, so, um... She is to be feared. Ooh. 
<laughs> it's not like we'll never see each other again. Uh huh. Wink, wink. Adult nap. What were you doing? It's all thanks to his mate. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. And big nap, but you know, big nap. I I. Uh, I don't know if it's history rewriting or if Big Nep just decided to pull off an idiotic move at the moment, which I hope it's not that. Oh, yeah. Vert kind of all... I mean, you know, we played Vert's arc, so we kind of know how that went. <laughs> Nep, uh, Vert got a little way too close to Nep Jr. I mean, consistently calling Nep Gear her sister, younger sister. But, you know, it's cute. But just knowing Vert... She kind of weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. I mean, that quote alone, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Otome, what's up? Oh. You're serious? All right, got it. Thanks. Was that a work call? Did they find Affimax? No, that's not it. Remember that game shop that was just robbed? Apparently, someone just tried to sell a huge lot of stolen consoles and games at another shop. Doesn't get more suspicious than that. Then we can find the culprit using their ID! Well, unsurprisingly, when asked for their ID, they refused and ran off. Uh -uh. But the person had some distinct features, so it's only a matter of time before they're caught. Well, by person, I mean mouse. The thief was a... mouse? Yep, and from the description, that mouse is probably... Mr. Mouse? Run into my beloved Kappa in a place like this. It must be fate. Holy baloney! It's that mouse from all the other games. Let me explain. This rat's name is Warachu, and he's a small time villain Warachu? causing all sorts of trouble around the world. Yeah, he loves Kampa. Having fallen head over heels for Kampa in an earlier encounter, he's been dealing with this unrequited love for quite some time now. Well, I'm sure it'll stay unrequited forever after this. Oh, great. Great to You're know. Thanks, Effie. You're not good, are you, Mr. Mouse? No, I'm fine, too. This is nothing compared to enduring the brute strength of those pesky CPUs. But I'm not important, Kampa. Are you injured, too? Even if you've been severely wounded, I still marry you, so don't worry, Choo! <laughs> You're so good at telling jokes. I'm not injured, so you can rest easy. I... I see, Choo. In a way, that's disappointing. Well, anyway, it's been a while, Mr. Mouse. Why are you here in Platitune today? It's... To resell stolen games, isn't it? All right, book them, Nepo. Or Neptune. What, what are you doing, Chu? We know you were trying to resell the merchandise you stole from a used games shop. How in the heck? But I didn't even show my ID in case my identity would be exposed. The suspect pool shrinks dramatically when a mouse is suspected. You're the only one who seems to commit any crimes. sure it was your popularity that did you in just now, little dude. But if I'm caught here, it'll be a slap in the face to all my kind. Let me go! <sighs> that rat just licked my fingers! So he's a rat, but we call him a mouse? Oh, crap! What are you doing, Iffy? Hey, he licked my fingers! That's disgusting and dirty! Okay, yeah, what about a dog? Especially Gosh, when it. their tongues hurry, are, you know, smelly. Get away. Oh, great, so now I have to catch up no the rat. Even though he's probably a mouse. Wow, it's
It's a giant mouse! Mommy, look! A giant mouse is running this way! He's a giant mouse? How huge! Like, I actually thought he was the size of a mouse! You're telling me he's like the size of a... Wow, did he just bash himself Darling, into a kid? Are you okay? Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was that very bad of my comment. That little kid. He's the worst. But now, that girl's gonna show up. Hmm? That girl? Hold it right there! There she is. That's Bisha. Yep. Actually... The heavens, the earth, the people all call. They summon me to defeat the wicked. Listen up, evildoer. Okay, last time I remember seeing Bisha, she looked a lot more tinier Who and the younger. Hey, is that? Huh, look at Nephew just in the corner. <laughs> and he's just like. <laughs> I think I know that kid from somewhere. Yeah, she was the kid that had that gold third power and apparently destroyed you. Like hardcore. I am the hero known as Presto Mask. <laughs> Presto Mask. <laughs> child, the cry is inexcusable. I will deliver swift justice. What the hell is with this loser wearing that stupid mask? If you won't move, I'll have to move you by force. What are you talking about? She's a phantom I thief. Won't allow Come it. on. Take this, my special move, Presto Kick. Yeah, fly to Africa, child. <laughs> Even though you're a rat. Some people are just too proud to admit their own mistakes. Thank you, Presto Mask. Thank you so much. How can we Presto Mask. All right, where's your uh, persona? I only did what's expected of a hero. Where's her justice? Arsene? Like, you come don't on. You need to thank <laughs> me, ma'am. The epitome of a hero. How cool is that? So you're the ones chasing after that mouse? That's right. Why are you still vibrating back and hmm. forth? Never seen your face before. Then, as a first-time service, I'll lower the price to 1,000 credits. Wait, what? What? Did you just say 1,000 credits? This place is a dystopia. Oh. I forgot to mention, but she takes money from anyone who's not a kid. Not a kid? Then why is everyone calling Neptune a kid? No way. How can there be such a greedy hero? I don't even have any money. No money? Jeez, what a bum. Well, for this one time and one time only, I'll treat it as a first time free trial. But you better pay up properly next time, in advance too. I'll see you all another time then. Farewell. Uh. Yeah, uh. You just got saved and she just said, all right, $1,000, give me. Nep, you look more confused than a doggoo bouncing around a leaf guard. Iffy, a hero just demanded money for her services. I feel like I just entered the Twilight Zone. Hey, you're always saying how the people <laughs> of game industry should think outside the box more. Well, that's not one of them. That kid's about as outside the box as they come. You don't save people and demand money. Like, like, free trial? Like, you get, like, the one, like, help? 911, what's your emergency? Help, there's a burglar robbing my, you know, my house. Oh, it's, a, oh, we're coming on our way. But remember, uh, $100 afterwards. Uh, uh, what if I only have 99, you know, dollars and 99 cents? Oh, well, too bad. You're going to get robbed. Sorry. No! Out of it. Well, that's Daddy, just. Would it be okay if I took him back to the Basilicon and fixed him up a bit? <sighs> I guess that's Papa, one reason to thief, avoid crime. You know? Because Besides, if you get saved, you have to pay, and that's but just. I can't just leave him out here. <sighs> Look at him. He's just lying there unconscious on the ground. Plus, we're going to. I understand you know... how you feel, but come on. If he. The thief. A second compass motion. Let's get him healed up. You too, Nap? It's 
not like we're complete strangers. We can throw him a bone, right? Besides, he's a little guy, but his network's probably pretty big. We might be able to get some more info about Affimax's next move. Well, I guess that's true. Not a bad idea coming from you, Nep. Oh, I know, right? Okay, so we'll hold him at the Basilicom temporarily as an important witness. You know, the more that I think about it, I'm wondering if this is like one of those games where I should have just been playing, like, you know, off camera, because, like, well, not because of the NSFW occasionally, but, like, this is really long. Like, I watched this video about this dude who was talking about Persona 5 and how it's probably the greatest game of all time. And he said that that game was so great, he forgot he was a YouTuber. So he, you know, never even recorded Persona 5. And, you know, I heard about Persona 5 being a really long game, like, 100, like, more than 130 hours worth of content. And I'm not joking when I say that. So, I guess in a way, it's understandable why you can't record something like Persona 5. There's too much in it that's like... If you really try to record everything in Persona 5, that's the only thing you're going to be doing for like the next year or so. In fact, I think there's this channel that I went through by... I don't remember what it was, but... There was hundreds. There were like 138 parts worth of Persona 5. And... <laughs> Some people play this game and have like 30 minute content of this game and they have like more than like 60 parts. <sighs> so I'm hoping that when I'm recording for like an hour and a half, I can get at least like what? 25 parts in or something? Like I just don't know how big this game is. Like first of all, we completed the zero dimension that took up like seven parts. We're almost done with this, I think? I honestly don't know, because, yeah, we have all the arcs, but after that, I don't know what's next. And then after we're done with those arcs, and there's probably still more, because this definitely does not feel like an end to anywhere. The Zero Dimension did, but, you know, Zero Dimension didn't take that long to complete, like, you know, seven parts, so like seven hours, I guess. But, still... You know, it's just, like... I don't know. Look at all their faces. They get one interesting fact about him being in the, you know, organization. They're all like... Okay, wait. I didn't comment on that last uh, sentence, but she said something about R4 being the last... Uh, be the same name as one of the villains from the Deity of Sin. I mean, I don't know much about the whole entire series, since I know there's a lot of games from this series in particular, and I have definitely not even played one of them. So, good to know that R4 is not even an original name either. Wait, is that Bisha? That, that's not... Why does she have Pac-Man eyes? That is Bisha? Wait, but why does she know them now? And... Why does she have Pac-Man eyes? I don't remember her having Pac-Man eyes before. Or am I just lost of memory at this point? Great. Steam Max coming to the rescue. Wonderful. And here we are. Meeting. Oh, now she. Oh, I'm confused at this point. Why did she? Why did she have? Pa Is it me or did she have Pac-Man eyes? Like when she was in the little icon in the corner. Like I could have sworn she had Pac-Man eyes. Oh. Um. Never mind. I guess I understand why. Okay, so Bishan always come with us? I... Yeah, she's not on the team. Oh, Kampa's actually level 37. Okay. Oh, yeah, all well, since we have enough credit. Um, test potion? What the heck? Girl, why you got... Wow, first of all, the hips. Like, but second off, the freaking needle. Hold up. You're not even holding it right, too. But the needle? I think you might need to put that down, man. Because I, I don't want to see that. Because, you know, I got personal problems with shots only my family member oh injections <laughs> oh great I can't wait to see that ah okay really quick just I feel like we should end off the episode soon so for that let's check out probably the new VR sessions that we're gonna get yeah here, here we go all right so before we end off this video Let's check out these VR sessions and see what Miss Neptune hath for us. 
Oh, and that just that definitely moved. Look at that. Yoo-hoo! Hello! I'm back again. Yeah, I can oh, Wonderful! Whoa. Don't mind if I do. Oh my gosh. Should we just eat so one delicious. out of context? Wow. These are as good as okay. compass cookies. <sighs> okay, buddy. Hey, can I have one more? Oh my gosh. Ah, I would ask. <laughs> no. <laughs> Imagine, though. Wow. But I mean, I'm not really that hungry for now. Plus, mm -hmm. I don't know what that is, but that don't look like chocolate chip cookie. Oh, wait. Oh, were you remembering oh. what I said last time? Those are small pieces of cookies. Never mind. If that's, that's the fine. case, your share percentage in my mind just skyrocketed. Oh, oh dear, I almost ate too much. They're just so darn tasty. I actually just ate some pudding that my younger sister Nepgear made for me. Am I surprised that she made if it? If you asked me what my true love in this world is, I'd say pudding. <laughs> I could eat it at every meal. That's how much I like it. But why, though? The one thing I hate more than work itself is eggplant. I just hate it so much, I don't even want to talk about it. Is that why Dalton Nep hates it? By the way, do you have any younger siblings? Yes. I knew it! I felt like there was some special connection between us. We really are a lot alike. Are we really? Like, you kinda just... I better get going. Oh, oh wow. Thanks for having me over. Let's hang out again soon. Oh, thanks for the snacks, too. You're welcome, question mark. Whee, she jumps out. That was a short one. Like, she literally just talked about, like, one or two things, and then, boom, she had to get going. Like, okay. Oh, yeah, I also put Uni on that shelf because I think... Oh, yeah, because Iffy's right there. And who... Oh, shoot, who was the... I... Frick. I don't remember. <laughs> it's either. Wow, you have pretty good taste, don't you, player? I wouldn't expect anything less. Oh, she looked at the plushies. Well. Oh, wow, she's getting Were close. Are you playing a game? <laughs> the way she kind of looks RPG, like. RPG, huh? Do you like RPGs? Uh, well, I mean, if I didn't, then I wouldn't be playing this game, but there are some I like. Pokemon, for whatever reason, isn't one of them. I like one of the faster-paced RPGs, and I i mean, okay, occasionally this game has some bad designs here and there, but this game is one of them that I like. Yeah, that's the good stuff. I like them, too. Fighting, game is, like fighting games are still RPGs my favorite, though. Too, you know? Like the super old ones that didn't even have battery-powered saves in the cartridges. Really? That sinking feeling from when you mess up your password, making your whole day of playing worthless. It's a kind of thrill that just doesn't exist anymore. <sighs> That's the real charm of these old games, you know. Though, all the titles coming out these days are super detailed and pretty. I also think it's great that anyone, anywhere, can play together thanks to the internet. You have to pay for it, though. Games are special, though. Their flaws left stuff to your imagination. And you'd play your friends right then and there. Controllers plugged into the same console. Doesn't that sound like so much fun? Only in Melee. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you know, if you have friends... I mean, thankfully, I think that's one of the best parts about having siblings is that, you know, if you want to play games together, you have Super Smash Bros. Melee, Mario Kart, Double Dash. At least those were the three... The two biggest games when it came to multiplayer on old consoles. GameCube for me was literally the console back in the day. The. Nothing else. Not an Xbox, not a PlayStation 2 or 3, not a, um, I mean, maybe the Wii. Yeah, yeah, actually, the Wii as well. I, Nintendo in general pretty much filled up my entire childhood, you know? Oh, wow! Oh my gosh, she's really close. I say that it's just nice to be able to sit next to someone and play a super fun game together you know you and me <gasps> <We're two puzzles gasps> <in a place. laughs> oh crap is 
Rusty found out I'm here. I'm supposed to be working right now. Uh oh. I've done it now. Time for a full course of Isty scolding. Okay then. That was nice going all like. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Outside of Mary. Oh, that's it. Wow, that's. That was short. Uh, I was expecting like two more. Like I, you know, cause we had all that for you know all the others, but I guess not Neptune. Um. This is an entire area, right? Hmm. I think for this one time it might be a weedy bit long. Just this one time it might be a weedy bit long. Actually, then again, I kind of did that with uh, Noir's route. I think there was one of the episodes where I almost recorded for two hours, so, you know. Okay, the real question is why did Bisha just yeet out of there? Like, oh. Or we can just have, you know, Purple Heart. That, that's fine. But why did she leave, though? Or unless, does she not know that she's powerful? Leave this to me. Right I don't know. You. Also, look, it's the, uh, you know, actually, whoa, hold up. I actually am kind of digging this setting. Hold up. I kind of like this. Now, this is what I like seeing. Going from, like, forest areas or, you know, dark alley areas to, you know, just city areas. That, no. to me, is what I like the most. Wait. Can't wait, can't wait. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wait, can't wait for what? Whoa, ma'am. Ooh. She just got a really, really, really small uh, hit point. All right, here we go, ma'am. Do your, uh, do your worst. Yes, yes, yes! Mm -hmm. This is the end! You know, you know, having needles being one of your deepest fears, uh, Kampa's not on that list. Alright, do your, uh, Venom Hit, which has Poison Effect. Hell. Or you Looks can do like that. We win. That's fine. Okay, like, why does everyone use the word nostalgic? Like, I get it, you're a, you're a Sega rep, Neptune, but, like, how does everyone, and I mean everyone, use only nostalgic? Not, I'm starting to remember something. Not, I'm getting this nostalgic feeling of you. There's something going on. But, like... Well, then again, it is a Sega rep, and literally, I kid you not, there are so many, and I mean so many people, when they play Sonic, or when they speak of Sonic, they say they have to, and I swear to gosh, they have to have the word nostalgic in their summary, one way or the other, doesn't matter what they're talking about, they have to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, or 3, or any Sonic game in the past, and put the word nostalgic. I don't know why. But they've used it so many times, it's a wee bit frustrating now. Like, I even saw one... Actually, never mind, I'm gonna stop there. What I'm about to mention is probably not uh, important information. Anyways, uh, let's make Ify the leader for now. Let's take a look. Ooh, woo! She looking kind of spicy! The coat, though, actually looking a little too big for her, but it looks cool. Ify, do you have to say anything about this situation? What should we do now? <laughs> I like how she pulls up her flip phone. What should we do now? Okay. She Naruto running, guys. That's it. Uh, end of the video. Uh, she Naruto. They've got the upper hand. <laughs> really? Joey. Just really? It's my turn. Yes, it is your turn with the needle stabbing. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, Like, oh my gosh, you now might then, need to chill out, girl. Wants to die? Going all out. Everyone in America, I guess? What should I do? Nep, Nep, like, what are you doing? All like, over. Iffy and Kampa are, like, way stronger. Like, what's going on, victory. Nep? They're not CPUs like you. What are you doing? We'll beat you to a Although, admittedly, Iffy's kind of cool. Let's just agree with that. Beat Iffy's kind of cool. Slap? Well, that was easy. 
Yeah, that was easy. Now, Ruto, run your way there. All right, so we're going somewhere now. Um, we're going over there. It seems like. And um, yeah. Can't yeah. wait! Can't wait! What, can't wait for what? Like, girl, you're scaring me. Like, hold up, you actually might need to chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Did you see? Did you see? I got one. Leave things to me. You know, if you have an enthusiastic woman who also has needles, I think you should hell. be afraid of her. Oh, but she does take a lot of damage, though. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Stop. Now, Ru there. Huh? Yeah. There. Huh? I just realized Stop. they. Do they there. actually? Wow, look at Neptune. Just. Stop. Huh? There. <laughs> I love how they look yeah. up when I'm jumping. Stop. Like, you know, when they're not looking at me. Look at Kamba. She, if you can see her, like, right. She's kind of just looking up for some reason. But why did the jump animations have to be so weird? Like. Or just not correct, you know? Oh, both Iffy and Kampa take a lot of damage. However, they are really strong. Looks like we win. -la 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 -la. Yay, she leveled up. So they remember a CPUs? So, why do some of the guards remember... Actually, why do some people remember Neptune and some others don't? Again, I, I, can, I can understand his scene. I can, uh, you know, understand all the other characters. But if you're going to have Iffy who's not going to remember Neptune, and you're going to have Kampo who will, to, that doesn't just make sense anymore. Or is it getting to a point where everyone's amnesia is just fading out? Like... I don't, I don't understand. We're going to HDD form again. At least she is. So let's go. Ow. Wow, she took a thousand damage. Block me if you can. Done and done. That about does it. That's cute. They got to shake her hand. That's cute. I mean, then again, she's kind of hot, so it's like, and she is your, you know, CPU leader, so. Makes sense. Oh, wait. We decided on this genre because we wanted to be some help to our lady. Wait. So, that's why they remember her? Because they love her? So, if that's the case, then... Does Iffy not love Neptune? I mean, you obviously, I mean, you know, love as in a friendship, but like... Iffy, what's going on? Okay, so that's probably where we'll end the episode there. So, um... What was I gonna say? Uh, actually, hold up. Let's at least level some of the stuff up. So that's gonna be the end of today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, give it a like and share the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed watching this. And I'll see you guys whatever we do next. Take care, God bless you guys, and I'm gonna go see what's going up in the next part, you know? Mm -hmm.